So today we're at Fort Boise Wildlife Area, just outside of Parma, Idaho. We're at the confluence of the Boise and the Snake Rivers. For us, noxious weeds are a big deal here because they really limit the benefit the habitat we have can provide to wildlife. It takes up a lot of space. It could be used by useful plants for providing cover, food, shelter for wildlife. Uh, we see a lot of new infestations here in kind of random places, and we kind of figured those were brought in by sportsmen. Cleaning, ATVs, boats, trailers, things, that's also important. Any seed that you have on you should stay in its place. We have rules regarding the transport of live organisms, um, but also you should think about transporting you know, plant material as well when you're moving from water body to water body. With noxious weeds out here at Fort Boise WMA, it's an ongoing process. You know, each year, depending on the seasons, we try to prioritize what methods we're gonna use and what we're gonna try to control. We're pretty much doing it year round, different methods of our integrated pest management to try to keep things uh, at a lower level than they currently are and improve habitat for wildlife. For us, you know, it's just kind of an ongoing condition. It's, uh, we get them brought in with floods, by hunters, you know, through the air on wildlife. Unfortunately, we've had some planted here and there, so um, it's a continual effort out here. We've got such a high water table and such a high amount of sportsman's use. So for us, it's just kind of a part of the job. It's a daily battle to figure out what we can do to try to contain things and keep it from at least spreading off of the area.